guys, we are at Camden Market today and we are going to find some food to eat. So let's go! I just got like a uh, ball meat dumpling which is like this one and veggie dumpling as well as venison dumpling so venison is like here and so this one right is oh you can't really see this one is ball meat dumpling so let's try it I don't taste the meat yet This is not the bomb, this is the veggie one. <laughs> the more twirly one, like you see there are more twirls at the top. That looks like curry puff, right? It's the veggie one. So I thought this was, this was the ball one, but it turns out that this is the veggie one. I think there's like potato and leek and carrots and some other random veggies. The consistency is like a bit like mashed potato, which is nice. I think this one should be the ball meat, so good luck to me. It actually looks like pork, right? I think the consistency is like pork also, but it's not as soft as pork. This is slightly harder than pork. Like, you see, when I, when I poked the fork in just now, right, it was harder to poke in than like the veggie one. So, the ball meat was um, harder than like pork. Yeah. There is kind of a little interesting aftertaste. I don't really know how to explain, but if it is okay, it's not bad. It's not like the texture is very different from the other meat that you know, so it's good. The last one with like no curly whirly around the ends, right? Like, like here is just straight semicircle, right? This one is supposed to be venison meat, which is like deer meat dumpling. Actually, I ate deer meat before. Like, you know, at Zicha places, they have stir fried venison meat, yeah. So I don't think it's very different. The venison meat is like a lot softer. It's like a lot softer than the ball meat. And like, it has a sweeter taste. So, I like the deer meat the most. Okay, so I had six dumplings for like six pounds. So technically it's like one pound each. La. And then I also have like vegetables, which is like salad. And I think my rating is like eight out of ten. It's not bad, but if you get food easily, you know what to do. You have a friend. <laughs> I just got uh, the Super Mario from the Mad Factory which you, you have saw just now so Super Mario has mushroom I think it's fried shallots, cheese and of course macaroni but I think the other thing is that they have truffle oil who doesn't love truffle? you know you do right? this was like 7 pounds and let's try it the macaroni is like soft but not like super mushy and you can taste the truffle oil from here because the smell is quite strong so if you like truffle oil I think this is really good for you and the mushroom is like very soft and very flavorful so I think the most important thing right is I think it's all these fried shallots because they are very crispy so it actually helps to break the texture of the soft macaroni and soft mushroom and I think it's good, nine, mm. and a plus point is 
that like yeah, there's like um, nice nice music that makes you want to dance <laughs> and the service is so friendly and there is like sample so if like you you're not sure whether you like mac and cheese or like whether it's too much cheese for you you can try it first before getting this for like seven but you can get the original one the classic I think it's like six pounds so yeah I'm gonna tuck in I mean now, for now. So I got this um, apple juice, hot apple juice with like cinnamon from this store. And it's like 350 pounds and it's like hot. Which is good in this weather. You can't really see, it's not snowing but it's a bit cold, just a bit. So that's the apple slice. That's cute. You Interesting taste. The drink is like very light, but then you can taste the cinnamon. It's a cinnamon taste with a bit of sweetness. So because it's so light, right? It's very refreshing and very crisp. <laughs> I yes, refreshing and very crisp in this cold weather. And I think it's like good for you to kai wei, you know? Like if you are a bit full, but you want to eat some more, right? You buy this and then you'll feel hungry again. Because this the cinnamon and the apple, right? The combination helps it to make it a bit sour. So it's like very refreshing. Yeah, so my rating is 9 out of 10. Mm. And with that, we are done for Candle Market. See you!